Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. Today we are really glad to introduce you one of the most special people of Cyprus, Ahmed Sen Mazdar. It is really a great honor to host such a special guest in our new program today. Music is not only art, but also the science. And I guess that the life of Ahmed Sen Mazdar really reflects this wisdom. Ahmed Bey, uh, we would like to introduce you to dearest audience of Cyprus Observer today. Uh, the fact that you originate from the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus really appeals to our pride. Mm. And we would like to mention that you are the only guitar doctor in Cyprus so far. So you are not only highly gifted musician, but also very eminent personality in academic sphere here. Thank you very much. We would like to ask you, why did you decide to delve into such a challenging yet rewarding realm of music mm. at the early age of five years, <laughs> as you know? <laughs> well, um, my father was a saz player. Um, he wasn't really a musician, but he was playing a saz. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I, um, if I really got influenced by his playing it, at such an early age. I don't remember such such things, memories, but at the age of five I started to take piano lessons and that's how my music life started. All right. um, from five to ten I played piano, simple pieces, you know, it's yeah. um, such a young age. Then from ten to twelve I didn't really play an instrument and I was like searching for an instrument and then I met with guitar, of course. <laughs> and guitar is such an intimate instrument and so nice when you, you know, you hold it strum, playing the chords, such a nice sound it has, it produces. So at the age of 12, I started to play classical guitar. Mm -hmm. And then, till now, um, it's like 20, 21 years now, I'm playing guitar, um, electric guitar, classical guitar, um, every day, and that's my Great. pretty much life. It's um, like your life passion. I know, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, life without music, I can't imagine happening. So. Yeah, that's true. And you've got your bachelor degree from, from Eastern Mediterranean mm -hmm. University, right? And then you proceeded, to, you continued your academic path in another mm -hmm. university in the USA? Yes, I started at the Eastern Mediterranean University. Mm -hmm. I got my bachelor of music degree mm -hmm. and I graduated in the first place. Um, with high honors, of course. And then, Great. of course, I always wanted to study in America. Mm -hmm. and then once I finished my bachelor's degree, I, wa I went to Peabody the Conservatory of Music and Johns Hopkins University. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the oldest conservatory in America. And wow. So for two years, I did my master's in, in classical guitar performance. So played lots of concerts, lots of performances, and took lots of lessons. And of course, it's master's degree, so you gotta, you gotta yeah. write a thesis and yeah, take surely. lots of classes. But it was a great, great experience to be in such a professional environment. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's conservatory, lots of virtuosos and mentors yeah. around, lots of big concerts and big artists, world-renowned artists just come and visit the school. And being in such an environment, such a professional environment, of mm -hmm. course, it doesn't improve, it doesn't only improve your um, guitar performance, mm -hmm. your um, musicianship, but also your life, you know, your way of thinking, yeah. and your personality, your ideals and everything. It was amazing. Then I decided once I finished masters, I decided mm -hmm. it's not enough and I got to get a doctorate because um, I really wanted to improve my education, mm -hmm. my musical personality and everything yeah. and my level of guitar playing. And then I went to University of Arizona, School of Music. Mm -hmm. It's really a famous school in guitar performance. So. Lots of great um, guitar players go there and study with Professor Tom Patterson. And I went there and it took, um, I, was, I was in Arizona for four years. And again, played a lot, practiced a lot. And, and actually I finished my doctoral degree with 4.0 average, grade point average. Wow. So I was, I was like a nerd, you know? <laughs> because that's why I went to America, you know? Yeah. And to really practice and improve myself as a musician, yeah. basically. So, you know. Yeah, great. Thank you for <laughs> yeah, sharing sure, this marvelous sure. experience Thank of you. education. Thank you. Well, maybe we would like to ask some questions concerning more 
intimate part of music. Uh, you were mm -hmm. talking about the guitar. Uh, could you describe maybe more what does this instrument mean for you? Maybe some adjectives that can describe this instrument, its personality or <laughs> its sound. Guitar is love for me. Yeah. You know? It's just like I love yeah. guitar. And, um, I can imagine a day, you know, without playing the instrument. Of course, you know, mm -hmm. um, I'm busy with academics now and yeah, teaching yeah, yeah. and managing a music department, just being a chair. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to deal with many things besides music. You yeah. know, just managing, a, it's like managing a company, you know. Yes. So, of course, I spend, <laughs> sometimes I can't practice for a day or two. Mm -hmm. But again, it's just like I listen to music and, well, guitar is everything and I don't only play classical guitar but mm -hmm. I also went to playing an electric guitar more popular stuff like mm -hmm. jazz mm -hmm. rock fusion mm -hmm. some blues and popular music because mm -hmm. I believe um, many styles of music improve yourself as a whole yeah, so that's true. I, I didn't only want to go okay I studied primarily classical music mm -hmm. but I'm not closed to all the other styles and, and also other instruments. I, I listen to piano, I listen to saxophone, drums, mm -hmm. keyboards. I, I go to the concerts. So um, I do as many things I can to improve myself. And guitar means everything to me. Right. It seems like it is the extension of your personality, of your soul. This is the way of expression myself. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, you can talk your ideas and things, yeah. but what you really feel inside, and you can, I mean, I think I can better express myself when I play with my yeah, instrument. Yeah, conveying with music. Mm -hmm. um, some question about your creative process, because beyond being the chair of music department in Girna American University, you are also releasing CDs and you are mm -hmm. composing your own music, right? Mm -hmm. So can you just maybe share where you draw your inspiration from, how this creati creativity process occurs? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my CD, yeah? of course. it's. Um, Koin Baba, this is the mm -hmm. inside of the CD and this is outside, mm -hmm. people can see. It's a nice hand, you know, mm -hmm. it's like sh um, shepherd's hand and this is of course lamp, you know. Yeah. So it's Koin Baba basically means sheep, father mm -hmm. or like shepherd mm -hmm. and it's a piece called Koin Baba, it's end of the CD, All right. four tracks and um, by Carlo Dominiconi, he's an Italian composer. Oh, and lived in Istanbul uh -huh. many years. Now he's, I think, he's Italian. Now he's, I think, in Germany or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a piece. So the title derived from the piece. Yeah. And so the basically how why I recorded the CD. Um, people also, of course, can listen to this on iTunes, on Spotify. Great. And if they can get a hard copy, it's it's less now, you know, because it's sold. Um, I'm very glad if they can reach to the album and want to listen to it. I would be um, very appreciated. When I played concerts, of course, at the end of the concert, um, people always approaching me and saying, where can we listen to the CD? Yeah. You know? Or like where we can listen to the song you played. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because great song, whatever. And I was like, <laughs> well, I have some videos on YouTube, but I don't have a CD. Yeah. You know? And in years, in years time, People kept asking me these questions, and I said, "Wait a second! I gotta make a CD now. You know, it's like yeah. playing the classical guitar for 20 years, and I, and I have to do a CD because I don't have one. Yeah, of course. Played lots of repertoire and played lots of concerts, learned lots of things, and met with many people, but then no CD. And it's, mm -hmm. it's um, so it's like your ID, you know. Yeah. You, as a musician, like a you have card. to have a CD. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is card. Yes. So I recorded Koin Baba. It's comprised of solo classical guitar music mm -hmm. and I'm a performer so I performed some other people's compositions mm -hmm. and there's only one song it's a um, folk song mm -hmm. uh -huh. so I arranged that um, right. myself to the guitar oh, great. and other songs are of course written by several composers mm -hmm. and there are 18 tracks and it's like an hour long um, CD so you can enjoy classical guitar music if you like it. It's a solo classical guitar. So um, I don't compose for the classical guitar mm -hmm. because um, I studied to be a performer, basically. So I take people's music. It could be you know, Bach, 
yeah. Rodrigo or many other Giuliani, whatever, mm -hmm. Fernando Sor, all those guys. And I perform and how can I perform those music um, in the style that is written? Um, okay. And how can I really connect this music that is on that is written yeah. with the audience, you know, with sharing my feeling? How mm -hmm. can I interpret the music? So mm -hmm. on classical guitar I'm basically an interpreter, you know. But on electric guitar I try to compose things and now I'm in the process of recording a second CD. It's going to be an electric guitar. It's oh. going to be a rock okay. type of album. It's not. It's not going to be a classical guitar. Uh -huh. So I'm, you know, trying to keep myself busy, basically. That's great. We'll That's good. And you are incorporating some separate culture as well into your tracks, um, as, as you have mentioned in this CD. There, there is mm. one track. No, no, no. really. It's. Oh, okay. The first song in the CD is Uzun in Jibiri Old Dime. It's. I'm on a long, narrow road. It's a famous, mm -hmm. famous folk song by Ashik Vaisal. Um, Koyun Baba is also um, influenced by Turkish stuff as well, Turkish music and folk songs. And Üsküdar'a giderken also. So I in in incorporated some Turkish stuff, Turkish yeah. elements inside. Not Cypriot Turkish, but, All right. um, but Turkish stuff. But on electric guitar album, it's going to be my compositions. Oh, great. Um, only yeah. my compositions. I don't know if I do a cover or two inside, just to, you mm -hmm. know, may maybe famous cover of some famous song. We'll see. I haven't thought about inter incorporating something Cypriot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, maybe in future. It's a, it's a changing process, you know. Yeah, I mean, you compose course. a song and then you don't include that into the CD. But then after several years you say, hey, I composed this, let me bring it up again. And you, you like it and you want to make it the recording. You yeah. It changes. You released the city after such a great, vast experience. So mm -hmm. I Many guess years. it is really a great compilation of the stuff that you played and performed. So it's really a lot of the work has been has been made <laughs> in order to produce this city to release it. I think so. <laughs> um, and may you share with us your quote for maybe your favorite quote, which supports throughout your life, something that you would like to share with Cypress Observer audience. Like quote. Um, <laughs> Well, I would say people like music, of course. Yeah. But then I want to encourage people to go and watch concerts, listen to musicians, and support the musicians. And um, if they want to learn an instrument, mm -hmm. just learn it, you know, um, no matter what. Um, some people want to play instruments, some people like to listen to music more. Mm -hmm. But I want people to really share their life, um, get a connection with music, you know, because music really helps people to be mature and yeah. share their inner feelings yeah, and just exactly. also express their feelings. So it's a, such an amazing art form. Yeah, so does. I want people to give some time to music, you know, that's what I want to yeah. s suggest. Great this. advice to everyone, I think. <laughs> Um, and being the chair of music department in Girna American University, mm -hmm. how do you envision the future of this department? What are the missions that you would like to accomplish? Okay, well, um, it's a great place, I think, because I was always a musician. Mm -hmm. Now I am the chair. So I'm responsible for younger generation to yeah. come here and get educated yeah. and become a good musicians and music teachers, of course. So. Um, I think it's a great opportunity myself to to get these young talents mm -hmm. and educate them here. Mm -hmm. And once they graduate, they can share, they can take my position and teach mm -hmm. younger kids and younger mm -hmm. generations. Um, and also, I bring famous people. You know, it, it, it's not only classical guitarists or guitarists. Yeah. You know, pianists and vocalists, mm -hmm. of course, guitarists some other people, music educators, mm -hmm. to share their experiences, their musical lives, and just do and workshops. So really get into, you know, how they learned music and share those experiences with people. So it's not only in this school education, we also bring other artists and, mm -hmm. you know, get people connected with the students. So students can actually see, wow, it's a great artist yeah. and I can it's not only me there, you know. Yeah. Some other people come from, let's say, Europe. Some mm -hmm. other people can come from Turkey with these workshops internationally. So they, the students have the opportunity to ask questions. And those questions and things, you know, little things can 
change their lives. Yeah, they matter a lot. And I make sure that our teachers properly teach in a respective manner, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so effectively, so students can really benefit from those good teachers, you mm -hmm. know. In time, classes work properly, lessons work properly, mm -hmm. concerts, we try to give concerts at the end of each semester. So it's not only taking classes, you know, you're, you're in the yeah. music department, you gotta yeah. play your instrument, yeah, you course. gotta show, you gotta share music. It's about mm. sharing music. Yeah, it's very I think. important. So I think the future of this department is bright. Thank yeah. you. I yeah, we believe so as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since it is under the chair of such a marvelous person as Ahmed Sen Mezler, thank you. we were really very glad to hold this mm. interview with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. See you. See you.